this is Howard with Motherless Children from Eric Clapton. A really cool song, a great riff, and some really cool greasy slide guitar playing as well. So let's get right into it, okay? First and foremost, I'm in an open A tuning. So let me explain exactly what that is. Your sixth string stays the same. Your fifth string stays the same. Normal tuning E and A. And your first string stays the same as well. So we got three strings that stay the same and three strings that are tuned up one whole step. So we start with the D string by tuning it up one whole step to E. And then the uh, G string is taken up a whole step as well to A. And then the uh, B string is taken up a whole step again to C sharp. Thus, when we play the guitar, it sounds like an A chord, just like if you were playing a normal A chord. Pretty nice, and that's how we play this tune. So let's get right into the opening riff. Now, if you take this first riff and listen really closely or even put it into an audio slow downer, if you will, you'll actually hear that Eric is playing this. Now that opening riff can be kind of uh, tricky. I think a lot of people think the riff is actually played like this. With two open G strings now tuned to A, of course. But if you listen carefully, or like I said, put it in a slow downer, you'll actually hear that he's staying on that D string. And then he moves to the open G string. So let me talk about the picking on that just a little bit. Now, of course, you're welcome to use whatever kind of picking you want. Whatever it takes to get the riff out, right, is totally fine. Uh, but I'm doing this with two down strokes out the gate, followed by two up strokes. So we have the hammer on, followed by another down stroke. So it's two down strokes. And then I use two up strokes on that open G string. And then follow with a down stroke for the pull off. And then another down stroke for the G string. sense. And I do a downstroke for that as well, the uh, three-way pull-off. And of course on the very last one before he hits the chord, just barring at the fifth fret, the first five strings, uh, he moves to the G string uh, to play the last couple of notes. So it's, and you can see that on the tab, I uh, thought that was really important. It's a nice way to connect with that chord. And then a couple more guitars kick in, one doubling uh, that main guitar that we just did, and then another one doing a harmony. If you want to connect with that harmony, it's very simple to do, or if you're playing with someone else, you both can kind of uh, cop these parts together. All you want to do is move the riff down, basically, except for the very last note. So you do that three-way pull-off, but you finish it with the open G string. So instead of playing like you do on the uh, main riff, you just play to the open G string, and that's the harmony guitar part. So once again, if you want to cop that part, it's kind of fun to toss in there. Or if you're playing with a friend, hey, two guitars is better than one, right? So before we get into the uh, very cool slide guitar part, let's talk about the rhythm guitar part that's underneath the slide part, as well as the main rhythm guitar that uh, flows throughout the tune, okay? So again, we are in open A tuning, of course, even for the rhythm guitar part. And the strings that I'm messing with here mainly are the A string, the D, and even a 
a bit of the G, all right? I'm definitely palm muting back here. And we're just gonna bring this finger off and on. So it's got that little galloping rhythm. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And the shapes are pretty easy to move around. We're gonna bar those same three strings at the fifth fret, and then the finger that we'll be adding will be the ring finger. And we'll talk about the variation on that rhythm that's played uh, during the verses after we uh, get through this, okay? So right now we have... Once again, we've got off on, move to the fifth fret, move back to A, and we're going to play this. So we had off on, off on, off on, move. So let me play that up to speed, okay? And then we move to this. So we want to connect those two bits together, right? So uh, once again, we start out the exact same way. Move up to the seventh fret. Move to the fifth fret. And we want to play just that. And then we're going to move. way on that chord when you get there. So let me play that really slow so that it makes sense, okay? guitar part under the slide is played like this. So once the vocals kick in, it's pretty straight ahead, except there's a couple of little things that I want to point out. And one of them, as I mentioned a little bit ago, is the uh, rhythmic variation on this second chord. So basically what I'm doing there is down, down, up as usual, then place your finger on for two down strokes, take it off for two up strokes. So we have with the finger back on, that's a down stroke again. 
and finally end it with a downstroke. So we have down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. And you will definitely hear that on the recording. It sounds very cool. So we're going to play from the first chord to the second chord using that variation in the rhythm department three times. And you can see that is exactly as the part that was underneath the uh, slide. from the first chord as usual all the way up to the seventh fret then down to the fifth fret for that kind of shortened riff <laughs> See that I headed right back to that first chord and the second chord with the rhythmic variation in it played twice. So we do that again just going over it with a fine tooth comb if you will. Uh, the first chord to the second chord with the uh, rhythmic variation three times then to that second part and then back to those first two chords with the rhythmic variation twice. And that uh, that is the verse of the song. So let's get into the slide part okay. So there's two slide parts in the uh, tune, uh, one out the gate, which is the main slide solo, and then a second one, which is very similar. It's just the tail end of it is a little bit different, and actually there's a second slide guitar <laughs> mixed into it as well, okay? So the easiest thing to do with this is just put the tab up on the screen and play it nice and slow so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> So let's talk about that second slide solo and uh, the variations that it contains, okay? So there you go, just a few variations in the slide part, and uh, that is Motherless Children from Eric Clapton. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.